Hello everyone, Alexandra Abramova is here with you and the next edition of the Sport Life program is on the air of the TV channel MMA-TV.com. Let's start as usual with the most interesting news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. On the 1st of July, the Russian fighter, who was included into the UFC Hall of Fame in March this year, received the coveted jacket with a gold lighting in Las Vegas. For the first time, the fact of inclusion of Khabib Nurmagomedov in the Hall of Fame of the American promotion became known during the UFC 272 tournament in March this year, which was a surprise not only for MMA fans but also for the athlete himself. For the important evening held in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena, a jacket with a gold lining and a patch with UFC Hall of Fame words written was prepared for Eagle Nurmagomedov, as well as a promo video with the title From the Dagestan Mountains to the Top of the MMA World. Coincidentally, the most resonant fight in the Atlas career took place at the same venue, as Habib himself reminded to the guests of the evening. Eagle became the 24th fighter in the history of the promotion to be included into the Hall of Fame, while the Atlas was awarded such an honor before Jones, Connor, Anderson Silva, and many others. Congratulations to Habib Nurmagomedov on his achievement. The results of the recently held 53rd MMA Series tournament still continue to attract the attention of mixed martial arts fans. We talked about the super fights of the tournament in the previous issue of the program, and today we will talk about the bouts of the main card. And let's start with the heavyweight fight, Sergei Diakonov versus Vinicius Moreira. At the start of the fight, the cage continued 230 kilograms of the total weight of the fighters. On the account of Dagana from the Mullet Club, there were 14 wins and 2 losses. Mahmoud Moreira had 10 successful fights and 7 unsuccessful ones on his account. From the very beginning of the fight, Sergei carefully and from afar threw out heavy single blows to the opponent's body, to which Moreira responded with a pair of dangerous front kicks. However, a minute later, Diagona finished reading the opponent and began to take active actions in the form of a series of two side strikes, taking Mahmoud to the net. In response to this, the Brazilian made an unsuccessful attempt to lay the opponent on the canvas, after which the course of the fight returned to the center of the octagon, where Vinicius took a wait-and-see position in order to pick up the opponent's blow and to hold another takedown, and Sergei kept throwing pins. During the whole meeting, the Atlas preferences in the manner of conducting the duel were clearly traced. If Diakonov tried to deliver as many tough punches in the rack as possible, periodically exploding with the dangerous combinations, then Moreira in turn threw out kicks and looked for the opportunity to transfer to the stalls. However, the Murum hero managed to keep control over the situation in 90% of the entire match, so Vinicius had to adjust to the opponent's track and to play by his rules. During the meeting, the Russian fighter threw 122 punches, of which 75 reached the goal, compared to 61 out of 118 before by the Brazilian. At the end of the three rounds, the victory was won by a unanimous decision of the judges by Diakonov. Congratulations to Sergei on his sixth victory in a row. I see you were resting your hands. I see you were resting your hands. Was it too easy or you were so tired? I didn't feel any particular danger from him, so I could calmly lower the hands. He is slow. I didn't feel the blows either. Neither feet nor hands. I thought he will be stronger. Well, I also managed to defend myself from the takedowns. We have been practicing this element with Oleg Popov for the last few days. But Oleg Popov is certainly not Vinicius. Another bout which lasted three full rounds deserves special attention. Performing for the second time in the series, the representative of the MMA Profit Club, Khatif Said, once again took the victory in our octagon. This time he was stronger than the fighter from the Kuznik Club, Alexander Duramanov. The Wolfhound Duramanov has not fought in the bouts for more than six months since losing the title fight for the silver bout of the series in November last year. Then, at the beginning of the first minute of the second round, the doctors did not allow the representative of the club Kuznet to continue the fight, and the trophy went to the debuting Vanderlei Jr. Duramanov went to the fight with Saif Khatif in order to close his November failure. Although the Atlas started the fight actively, they still spent 40 seconds exploring each other's abilities. Saif showed good starting speed, managing to skillfully get out from under the opponent's single blows. In the middle of the first round, Alexander managed to conduct an accurate takedown, from which, however, Khatif got out really quick. The Atlas fought in the clinch for another minute, after which the fight returned to the center of the cage. 
Usually, the Wolfhound had enough pace and speed to dictate his own conditions, but the current opponent was not inferior to Alexander in these parameters. In the second round, the Atlas spent less than a minute in the center, after which Hadiv managed to grab the opponent's knee and to take him to the canvas at the net. Duramano quickly returned to the rack and again held Hadiv in the clench for about a minute. After that, Saif managed to seize the initiative and to close the opponent in the guard. Approximately the same events unfolded in the final segment of the match. Following the results of three full rounds, the representative of the MMA Profit Club threw out 73 accurate punches out of 162. There were almost half as many actions performed by Duramano, 28 hits out of 98. Say Khatiyev won by unanimous decision of the judges. Everything he did was expectable for me. I could feel these moments. I confidently defeated him. To be honest, he even surprised me at one point when he started wrestling in the first round. I honestly didn't expect this, but I was able to adapt to this and to show him that there was no need to wrestle with me. Yeah, as I felt and believed that all three rounds I dominated him. Another representative of the Kuznik club, on the contrary, managed to win six consecutive victory in the framework of the MMA series tournament. At the fourth minute of the opening round, Andrei Lebedev dealt with Kyrgyz athlete Aybek Shakirov. Andrei had six wins and not a single defeat on his account at the time of entering the octagon, while Aybek Shakirov from Kyrgyzstan had four successful outcomes and three not in his favor, as well as a yellow card for the overweight. The duel lasted one round without 10 seconds. From the beginning of the race, Andre quickly took the initiative and gently pushed the opponent from the center, simultaneously delivering sharp and dense punches and kicks. Lebedev responded to Ibeck's attempt to transfer the opponent to the wrestling on canvas by taking Shakirov into the net, where he controlled him for another minute. In the middle of the round, the Atlas still moved to the canvas. The outcome of the fight was decided by Lebedev's disorienting flying knee to the opponent's head from the rack. Ibeck collapsed on the deck and allowed a pupil of the Kuznik club to finish him off. Andrei's confident victory and plus one point to the record without a single defeat. I like that I work in the guard. It can be said for me that this is a new position position for me in fighting. I think I did a pretty good job with it. Well, the opponent, I knew he would wrestle. In any case, I have coped with that task. I want to grow as a fighter. Give me a fight for the bout. I think I'm probably ready and I worth that. I've already spent six fights in your organization and I finished all of them ahead of schedule. I consider myself a good fighter who deserves a good challenge. Alexei Voivodin from the Sparta Club has already added three wins to his record as part of our promotion. This time, his opponent was the representative of Kyrgyzstan, Sadiq Ulurus Kildi. For the Kyrgyz athlete, this was the second entry into the octagon of our side. His debut took place at the 50th Super Tournament, where in the second round, Ruskildi lost to Bakhtavar Yunusov by submission. In the new match, the athlete wanted to close the defeat and probably wanted to do it as quickly as possible. Sadiq promptly started the fight, discouraging the opponent with assertive punches in the rack, and at the 15th second completely knocked him down on the canvas. Ruskildi spent another two and a half minutes trying to control Alexei. After two minutes, of struggle, we wouldn't manage to get out of the grab, however, not for long. Persistent Sadiq dropped him on the deck again, now in the center of the octagon. We wouldn't once again manage to get out of a difficult situation and to move into a side control position. In the second round, the fight was already imposed by a Russian athlete who managed to control the opponent for all five minutes, monotonously striking short blows to the opponent's body. At the end of the second segment of the fight, Alexei struck 69 accurate shots out of 84, while Ruskildi hit only 6 times out of 20 attempts. The outcome of the meeting was decided by a choke performed by Wei Wojin in the middle of the final round. You can see the fights of the other participants of the main card of the post event on your TV screens. Omar Rzaev, the representative of the Stout Club, made his debut with a victory in our promotion. According to the results of three full rounds, he managed to be stronger than Kholikov Muhammad from Hussein of MMA team. Javliyev Mukhordin's new entry into the octagon of the series from the Amir Timur Club ended in defeat. A technical knockout in the first minute of the initial round was won by his opponent, the debutant of the tournament, Viktor Kluyev. And this was the Sport Life program and its host, Alexandra Abramova. You can already see all the fights of the last tournament on our YouTube channel. Watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com, subscribe to our social networks, and follow the news on the MMA-Series.com. And see you on the air every Thursday.